back at it again and y'all sent me this clip and wanted me to check this one out uh apparently it's kind of old it, it's not it's not a new clip i mean it's not super old it's like a month old or something so it's not like years old or anything crazy like that but um looking at the title of this thing um yeah we're we gonna we're gonna get into the weeds with this one we're gonna get into the weeds with this one <laughs> like share comment hit that subscribe button if you are new i would greatly appreciate it and if you are if you were already subscribed make sure you're still subscribed sometimes people are randomly unsubscribed from the channel you know what i'm saying i ain't i ain't blaming nobody okay but uh yeah make sure you're still subscribed sometimes people do get unsubscribed from the channel for unknown reasons all right and uh if you'd like to help me out even further with the youtube algorithm other than you know, liking the video and leaving a comment because, of course, those th two things help tremendously, you know, engaging with the, the video clip. Watch this video to the very end. It helps out tremendously. I will greatly appreciate it. And with that being said, let's dive in. The, the problem is we've forgotten how to be genuinely proud of our great countries, both America what? and the United Kingdom, two of the greatest countries in the world. It's almost well, like that's... every day now, somebody somewhere, normally on the left, the woke left, is queuing up to find a reason to hate the countries and their histories. Well, it's, it's a kind of grievance competition. Your guest earlier just tried to engage in it. I don't know what hurt she believes she's had from slavery. Uh, all of this was addressed two centuries ago. Everything has consequences. All history has consequences and ramifications. But, you know, if we were to play this fairly, we would at least look at all of the countries around the world that engaged in the slave trade who are simply not interested in any form of reparations, the, the, the Ottoman Empire, all the Arab countries who not just traded far more slaves than across the Atlantic, but castrated all the men so that there wouldn't be any more African slaves in, uh, after them. They worked them to the bone. I see no interest across Africa in paying reparations for selling their brother and sister Africans into slavery or for working them to the bone to the present day. There is slavery across Africa today. In fact, there are more slaves in the world today than there were at the height of the transatlantic slave trade. So some of us are simply a bit bored of hearing people ripping at closed wounds and then crying about their hurt or their presumed hurt because mm. we actually checked out a clip of uh uh morgan freeman morgan freeman uh on the issue of racism and he said stop talking about it stop talking about it right and I, I, I think he was kind of alluding to what that guy just said. You, you, you got a bunch of folks who rip at old wounds, old scabs, and then cry about the fact that they're hurt. And it's just like, let it heal. Let it go. It's going to heal. Stop talking about it. Stop talking about it. Will there always be racism? Of course. Of course. There's always going to be somebody, right? That's just the law of averages. You know what I mean? There's so many people, somebody, somewhere, right? But for the most part, in our day-to-day -day lives, nobody's going to really be affected by that. I've, I've Listen, now, maybe I'm a fool. Maybe I am. I don't know. Maybe I'm just uh, oblivious, okay? I've But I've never experienced any type of racism from any white person a day in my life. Not a single day. I repeat, I'll repeat that. I have not experienced any racism from a white person a single day in my life. No, maybe I did and I just didn't notice. I don't know. Didn't affect me though. So why am I going to cry about something that I didn't feel? Oh man, that was well said. Ripping at a wound, a scab and crying about the fact that they're hurt. That is on point right there. On point. So true. Let's run that back. Let's run that back. Just the Africans into slavery or for working them to the bone to the present day. There is. Oh, and that's also something that people never bring up. Nobody's going back to Africa and saying, hey, why did you ship us up? Why, why, why did you sell us off? No, no, nobody. Nobody's doing that. It's always the white man. Oh, the white man. Hey, the white man. What about back back, back in Africa, though? You think all these white people just, just showed up on, on the African coast and walked into, you know, uh, uh, middle Africa and just started gathering up people? Allegedly, the lifespan for a white person in inner Africa back in the day was less than a year. I want to say it was like nine months or something because of all the diseases and things that could kill them, right, that they weren't used to. So you really think white people like just 
just showed up and just started taking people. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's the case. It don't sound like it to me, though. That that don't mm -mm. Mm -mm. don't sound like that would be the case to me. That doesn't even make sense. Just random people show up and start taking other people, and there's no fight. There's no there's no bloodshed. There's no death, right? And and their average lifespan is less than a year. So how does that even make sense? It sounds like they were showing up to the coast so they would actually live and you know exchanging something for these folks and going back i'm just saying but maybe i'm an idiot i don't know y'all let me know in the comment section slavery across africa today in fact there are more slaves in the world today than there were at the height of the transatlantic slave trade so some of us are simply a bit bored of hearing people ripping at closed wounds and then crying about their hurt or their Max. presumed hurt because everybody could do this. A million Europeans were stolen by North Africans over the course of decades of the North African Barbary pirate slave trade. Where would you end if you did that? The answer is you couldn't end because nobody is alive who has actually suffered the hurt and nobody is alive who did the wrong. And I'd make one other point, if I may. It's always the countries that people want to come to who are put through this struggle session. Ooh. Britain, like America and France, are among the, are the most desired destinations for migrants worldwide and have been for centuries. Why is that? It's not because we're racist. It's because we're better. It's because we're good. He's on point with all of this. And one way you know that we don't live in a racist country, look at Barack Obama. Not only was he the president, but he was the president twice. He was the president as long as he could possibly be the president. And last time I checked, black people only account for like 13% of the population. Even if you want to add in, uh, uh, you know, our, our, our Latin and Hispanic brothers and sisters, uh, what would that equate to? I think they're closer to 20%. So we'll, 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 say, we'll say 30% of the country are people of color, right? So even if every single person of color voted for Barack Obama, you still wouldn't have enough to get them elected. So that means all of these racist white folks had to have voted for a black person. My goodness. I'll be darned. How in the world did that happen? Sheesh, Louise. You know, so... <laughs> He's definitely on point, man. Why is that? It's not because we're racist. It's because we're better. It's because we're good. It's because when we see racism, we actually call it out and recognize it as a sin. Try finding that across Africa. Try finding that across the Middle East or in China. Nobody would hear. So what we have is a situation where the more virtuous countries are presented as the worst countries. It's sick and most of us are tired of it. Thank you, Douglas. I am so sorry that Douglas is bored by the pain that has come from That's not what he said. through slavery. He didn't say... He's, he's, I'm he so didn't say no, see, But what you're but doing there... What you're not, doing, yeah, but hang on, Paula. Paula, you're being very disingenuous. That's not I what he said. I am. The and viewers aren't stupid. They know, they know exactly what he said. He's not I saying he's bored by the pain. He's saying, and I think it's a perfectly valid point, the pain that people who are alive today are claiming they're suffering mm. for what happened two or three hundred years is not a, it's not a real pain. It's self-inflicted. Nobody alive today went through it. Stop it with the BS. Stop it with the nonsense. Nobody alive today went through it. Right? Stop. This this, this stuff is ridiculous. I always go back to uh, you know, this this um line I heard from Eric Thomas. And he was talking about if somebody pushed you down and I come back a week later and you're still laying on the ground in the same spot, that's not that person's fault anymore. That's now yours. You chose to stay down there and lay there for an entire week. Yes, the person was wrong for pushing you down. Yes, slavery was terrible. Of course, everybody can admit to that. But the fact that you still laying down, crying and complaining, that's now your fault. It's your fault. You had every opportunity to get up, dust yourself off and get back to work. But you chose, you chose to stay down there and lay there. Nobody was holding you down. Yeah, you got pushed, but that person left and walked away. As a matter of fact, that person's dead. Like, beyond just walking away, that person's dead. So ain't no, oh, I, I don't know if they're going to come back again. They're dead. Like, what are we... I, I'm sorry, y'all, but I just get frustrated when people bring up this stupid argument. They're dead. So who's going to push you down again? Not them. 
Goodness gracious, man. You, you just can't make this stuff up. This stuff is just... They're not the no. ones who suffered what was going on two, three hundred years ago. So, it, it, in terms of justice for all, I mean, I think we'd all agree that... Well, I'm not justice. suffering for when the Normans think, invaded this country. Agree. I'm not suffering from what my ancestors went through. I noticed or that I've the... not been allowed to respond. Well, I or from the Romans. There's... In other words, where, where do you take this? I mean, should I now be well, feeling I can take pain it to 2015. from what the Romans did to this in country? In terms of slavery, I can take it to 2015 when the slave owners were, were compensated by the mm. government. So I can take it to that well, extent. But where does your personal pain I, come? And I can say to you, and I can say to you, that I don't think that apologising mm. is a bad thing. I think that apologising for a wrong is a good thing. I think that the um, Dutch royal family have done a fantastic thing in acknowledging I think what, make, has, all right. what has gone okay, wrong hey, but in society. I honestly think it'll make no difference. It won't. I don't think there's anything wrong with apologizing. Okay. Okay. So check this out. What is that going to change for your life? Does it all of a sudden put you in a fancy car? Does it put you in a bigger house? More money in your pocket? Does it all of a sudden give you like this nice big old family or something? You know? Does it give you a raise at your job? New occupation or something? No, it changes nothing, absolutely nothing. And second thing, why would I apologize for something that I didn't do? Make that one make sense. Because let me tell y'all something. If somebody came to me and said, you know what, Rich? <clears throat> Your grandfather slapped my grandfather in the face. I need an apology. You know what's going to be my response? Well, I can't say what my response would be. Uh, let's let's edit it a little bit. <laughs> well, last time I checked, uh, the place you need to be looking for your apology or whatever you need is in a graveyard over there. Go holla at him. That's that's my that's my PG version. All right, that's my PG version. Cause there's something else I want to say, of course. But that's my PG. For, I'm not apologizing for something that I did not do. That that is that is crazy, great. And I don't expect anybody else to. Why would you apologize for something that you didn't do? Why would anybody apologize for something that they did not do? That makes zero sense. These people have become so brainwashed that they don't even know that they're making themselves miserable. They've become that brainwashed. Like, they're making themselves miserable. Instead of just going about their day, living their life, they have to cry about something that they never even experienced. Never experienced. And people, oh, well, there's racism and there's this and that. Tell me the last time you experienced racism. I'll tell you when the last time I, I experienced it. Never. And may, maybe I'm just in my own world and I'm just oblivious to it. But that's also a, a great point as well. If it did happen, it didn't affect me. It didn't change my life in any in any way, shape, or ma uh, form, right? In any significant way. Because if it did happen, I didn't notice it. <laughs> so why am I going to cry about something I never noticed? Goodness gracious. Man, these folks. <sighs> y'all let me know how y'all feeling about this one in the comment section below. Like, share, comment. Hit that subscribe button before you go. Share this one, y'all. Peace and love. I'm out.